these chips are really good. This video is going to be my February and March favorites put together because I don't know what happened. Like February, I completely just got totally, I, I forgot. So here I am and I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 10 things that I have been loving in the past two months because I totally forgot to do those favorites videos. So as you guys know, if you have seen any of my previous favorites, I start at the top of my head and I move down to the bottom of my feet and then I talk about the miscellaneous stuff. So let's start at the top. My February and March favorites for hair have been these babies right here and this still has a tag on it because I haven't worn this one specifically these little like ponytail holders from free people I've been wearing this one more consistently than this one because it's more of a pop of color so I've been waiting for like the right outfit to wear with this these are actually perfect for lazy girls like me who just want something that's going to give your hair an extra oomph without you actually having to try you know what I mean so now moving on to my face this is not necessarily a favorite but wow I, it has bounced back so bad like right now. I'm not wearing any face makeup I have absolutely nothing covering my acne marks at all and scars and as you guys can tell like they have faded Drastically, so the first product that I'm going to be talking about is a skincare product and this is the Glossier Solution and this stuff I have talked about this on my Instagram if you aren't following me it's at what go follow me right now so I have talked about this on multiple occasions on my Instagram whether it was like an Instagram live or just in my insta stories or whenever you guys DM me and ask me what products you guys should buy to fix your skin this is a holy grail for me you guys I have just noticed such a difference in my skin since I have used this it makes my skin very glowy I don't have dark spots anymore if anything the only scarring that I have is just pitting when it comes to dark spots when it comes to any kind of hyperpigmentation, redness, discoloration on my face. This is a miracle. It's more of a chemical exfoliator as opposed to a physical exfoliator. This really goes way down deep. Such an amazing product. So the next product that I have been adoring is the Topaz Halo Scope, also by Glossier. I, I also want to point out, I am a Glossier rep if you guys didn't know that already. So I do have a Glossier link. If you're getting anything skincare wise, try the Glossier Solution. If you're getting anything makeup wise, you like natural makeup, you want something that's a little bronzy, something that's kind of like an inner glow. I feel like the Topaz Topaz Halo Scope is absolutely gorgeous. It's just so 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 nice and it's not like super extremely obvious on your face You guys might not see it But I feel like it just kind of makes me look a little more youthful and a little more Awake and I feel like I really need that so now the next products are also Glossier products go figure I'm a Glossier junkie and I'm going to put these together as a favorite just because they do both go on my lips and I wear them together So it is first the Glossier Rose Balm.com and their Generation G in Leo. So I'm wearing the Generation G right now. So it's kind of like a coppery, taupe, brownie kind of color. Let's start with the bomb.com. I was very, very, very skeptical about them. And then I bought this one because I was like, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's see how it goes. And I'm not a big fan of rose anything. I don't like the scent of flowers. I don't like flowers, really. But this is probably gonna change that because it's, I'm starting to move towards more like floral scents now because of this little baby right here. I don't even know. Like I put it on and it has like the slightest baby pink. Your lips just look moisturized and youthful and truly I wasn't expecting much from the bomb.com so I was like it's basically just a chapstick. Like what about it? So worth it. So, so, so worth it. I use it every single day, multiple times a day. I'm I'm obsessed, truly. And now that my lips are already hydrated, I will come in with the Generation Gs. And these are more of like a hydrating, moisturizing lip. They're very pigmented, but you have to really like pack it on. And I feel like that's something that Glossier does. It's your skin, but better. It, that's really the best way I can put it. So it is just insanely pretty. And I'm just shook both of these are just such good products if you guys are looking for any lip products glossier lip products i recommend the rosebomb.com and i feel like this is low-key a cult favorite and then the generation g in leo so my next favorite is actually a vitamin <laughs> and this is the sbr nutrition biotin and this is actually a liquid vitamin wow Wow, I have tried biotin before. I've tried like the little pills that you buy at Walmart or whatever, and I never notice anything. It's like promote skin, promote nails, promote. And I was like, yeah, it's not doing any of this. So why are you? This is false advertisement. But this is not. This is actually amazing. So these are my nails right now, you guys. Like, 
I don't even my nails are so strong are so healthy they just I just <laughs> this is going to strengthen your nails and this is truly going to be fantastic I don't even know what else to say honestly it's like cracking a bottle for your nails and hair and skin so if you guys are looking for something like a like a biotin or whatever or something that's really going to help promote growth I definitely recommend this product I'm done with my hair we're done with my face let's move to the body that's my body so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is actually a brand a website thread up thread up Yes, if you guys know anything about me, I do love being minimal. I love minimal styles. I love minimal things. And I also love minimal spending. So I don't like going out and just splurging on like a whole bunch of stuff, unless if it's shoes. I love shoes. It's basically like an online Goodwill. And truly, I don't see anything wrong with sustainable fashion. If anything, I try to promote it as much as I possibly can. I tell all my friends to go to Goodwill before they go to the mall. So ThreadUp is basically, like I said, an online Goodwill. You can go in and really customize what you like so if you want like a white dress from so-and-so brand they will show you all of the white dresses that they have from said brand or if they have any at all they will suggest other brands or other dresses that you might like etc etc and it's just truly so 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 awesome i i wasted like i don't even know like two and a half hours the first time i looked on thread up because i was just so shocked at like all the variety and like just how detailed everything is I feel like I want to add like my plant in here it's just like so dead back here so I added a plant to add some depth maybe a pop of color should I have added it right now probably not could have done it in the beginning of the video but we're moving on so the next two products that I've been loving are shoes I know better but when it comes to shoes I will splurge I will spend however much I need on a pair of shoes if I feel like they're necessary to me or if I've been wanting them for a long period of time I will splurge on things that I feel like I would really benefit from having so the first pair of shoes that I bought were these white Lacoste Lacoste I don't I don't know how to pronounce it I'm so sorry these white babies right here I have been adoring these and they have like a cute little little alligator look at this little baby I do not regret my decision at all I forgot what it's called but they have like a really really soft like cushiony um sole or whatever guys I wore these to Disney World and the whole day my feet felt like I was walking on clouds. I don't know what it is. It probably has some crazy 23rd century cloud magic thing. I don't know. That I walked for hours through two Disney parks with these shoes on and I did not feel anything. I did not feel tired. I did not feel fatigued in any way like when it comes to like your feet. I don't even know what else to say. Just fantastic shoes. Absolutely fantastic. So my next pair of shoes are these black slip-on vans right here why do i love these shoes they're minimal they're casual you know what i mean they kind of give you like they tone down the look and honestly i didn't know how much i needed these shoes until i bought them slip-on shoes are key whenever you're going through airport security so i bought them off of asos and guys i i don't even know why i waited so long these are the best shoes that i own i think i think by far they are my absolute favorite shoes that I own because they go with all of my outfits I, I'm almost done I promise so my next favorite guys wow this this thing this right here changed the game for me let me just let me changed the game for me this is the Fjall Robin Kankin Konkin I don't even know if I said that right mini backpack let me just brag for a second okay so i bought this backpack not on a whim i had been wanting it for over a year this is the perfect perfect backpack this is the perfect disney backpack amusement park backpack road trip backpack i took this to disney with me and it was the absolute best decision i have ever made i got to fit so much stuff i fit a water bottle i fit like an extra hat a pair of sunglasses some extra socks i fit an entire jacket in here i had my camera i had so much stuff fit into this little backpack because it i don't even know like it looks small but it's low-key mary poppins purse if you know what i'm talking about you guys are thinking about getting one of these backpacks and you can't decide whether you want like an actual backpack or like a mini this is perfect don't worry about the size don't worry that it's too small it is 
functional, it works, just so pretty and versatile, and I love it. And now the last thing that I have been loving in the past two months are packing cubes. Packing cubes. The best decision of my life when it comes to traveling because I got to fit everything that I needed to and still had leftover space, which was wild for me because it had never happened and I had all of my things set for an entire week all in one carry-on and I still had extra room to be able to fit like three more packing cubes in there. If you don't know what a packing cube is, and I keep saying this, it's basically just like a little cube that you zip up that's it. So you put your clothes in there. With three packing cubes, I packed everything I needed for a week. And that is wild. Me having everything that I needed packed and ready and still had leftover space was baffling. I saw it happen before my eyes. I did it by myself and it was just like, how, how does this happen? What? So if you guys are going on a trip anytime soon, I know that now spring break is happening and then summer break is about to happen. So you guys are probably traveling or even just spending the night at your friend's house. I feel like packing cubes are so important and so crucial to my life now because they just make everything so much easier and just more efficient. Packing cubes are the way to go. Please buy some if you don't have any you'll thank me later. So that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, then please don't hesitate to comment down below or DM me on Instagram because Instagram is my favorite. I love talking to you guys. I feel like I really get to connect with you guys on there. So if you guys have any questions, DM me. Feel free to DM me. Feel free to comment down below. I respond to every single comment and any, any question you guys have. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. I love you. Jesus loves you. Stay fly. See you guys. Mm, these chips are really good.